Running backs, get the full vibes going, yo. Let's go. Kim and Dank, Biggie Smalls, produced by Slavery. Hit song with no music video. And I may or may not be going to New York soon, so I may have to shoot this, y'all. No cap, it's long overdue. But let's get into it, and we're going to break it down. Let go. Beat by Slavery, but mixed by another legendary producer. Slash CEO. Oh shit, chat getting spicy. I know you do that. I know you do that. Junker, I know you do that. Ah, uh, face on black and white. You're so like, like a legend in the game, man. Uh, and got the make Tell me how good I look today. You wanna come right? You wanna come be in a video Who you trying to fuck? Let's go. I look like Biggie Smug. I look like Biggie Smug. Turn outside of town. Alright. I look like Biggie Smug. With Tupac, baby, I look like Biggie Smug. Nine times out of ten, I look like. Nine times out of ten, I look like Biggie Smug. Who got bands? Who won ball? Him Buck, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar And no nigga, I don't play no damn basketball, Junker Up it all, flowing loud in New York And I think I'm Biggie Smalls You think this an open bar? Girl, this bar ain't open Unless you bust it open Oh my god, I guess it you want whole shit, go ahead and sell it. I'm like hard whiz on this. I'm not just saying, he's in his might be his mammy, auntie, or your grandmammy. Hands on it, get rid any second. Progression is the method. Fuck going to sleep. I've been eyes to every day this week. I could be the Pope, cause I damn show preach. And I And I got a fleet and I'm not evil. Canive a Knievel to strip your people of their fans' money, jewelry, and especially Reefa. Canive a Knievel like evil Knievel, like Canive a evil. Come on, y'all. These bars are crazy. Where Tupac give, I look like Biggie Smalls. Roll up, dummies. And a scroll up, dummy in there. No, yeah. That's for the hometown, man. The hometown. Woo! One for the books, y'all. One for the motherfucking books. All right, let's go ahead and break this motherfucking goddamn some bitch down. Now, tell me So, Kim and Dank, Biggie Smalls off the Rocket Man LP, y'all. So, this song came out, I believe, in like 2016. And, uh... Around that time, I was, like, working on my next album and shit. I was, like, doing hella shows, like, DC, VA. I was doing shows here, too, but I think that was the time that I did my second or third ever New York show. Like, I had this uh, show in New York. Shout out to uh, FUBU and shit. It was, like, this collective and shit. Super, super cool people. But uh, they had booked me for the show, and I had... 
perform there, met some dope people and shit. And uh, I was, like, super juiced up, too. Because, like, that was my first time really, like, being, like, in New York at a show with, like, the gang and shit. So, like, it was just me and all the homies. We was all, like, looking fresh. Niggas had, like, yeah, jewelry and shit on. And, yeah, the girls was flocking, you feel me? So, I wound up fucking with, uh, like, a couple girls during my, <laughs> during my one or two day stay in New York during that time. And uh, after I came home from, like, all of that and, like, the good lit show and all that, I was just, like, on one. I was just feeling myself. I was like, damn, I'm, like, feeling big, like Biggie Smalls right now. I'm getting this, this show money. I'm fucking with these hoes. I'm like, bitches on me out of town, even in New York. But I'm from Baltimore, you feel me? But, but I look like Biggie Smalls. And now I'm feeling like Biggie Smalls, you feel me? So... When I came back home, I started recording some more songs for the album. And, like, that song just kind of encapsulated, like, just how I was feeling around that time and how that uh, New York trip made me feel and shit, you feel me? So, yeah, it was just a vibe and, like, a combination of a, a good-ass show and a good-ass visit and shit. Shout-out to FUBU. Shout-out to all them good folks in New York, you feel me? But, yeah. Oh, and this is the legendary part about how the song even came about, so... When I had made this song, like, I think I recorded it all myself, and I was, like, trying to find somebody to mix it, and I think, um, I was, me and Filthy was, like, just chopping it up heavy around that time and shit, so I don't know, like, why, but I just hit him up, and I was asking, I was like, hey, bro, you trying to mix this song for me? It was, like, this song and, like, one other song, like, Off the Muscle from, uh, Trap Gospel. I was like, bro, you trying to mix these two songs for me? And he was like, yeah, I got you, so he sent me this one back. And, like, I was fucking with the mix heavy. I was like, ooh, this shit hard. This shit slap. I was like, good looks, bro. I'm about to put this shit out. But I wasn't really fucking with the off the muscle mix. So I wound up getting my other homie to mix that. But Filthy of Working on Dying Fame mixed uh, Biggie Smalls for me, y'all. <laughs> so uh, shout out to Filthy because uh, without him, this song would not exist. Trap Gospel, a top three.